In this video, we'll balance the equation for iron three chloride plus ammonium phosphate. So we'll use a bit of a trick to balance this equation that'll make it a lot easier. First, let's count the atoms up and then balance the equation. We have one iron three chlorine atoms. And here's the trick. We have this NH4, this is the ammonium ion. It's a polyatomic ion. We have it here and we have it here. So we're just gonna count it as one thing. We have one ammonium ion times three. So we'll have three of these NH4 ammonium ion on the reactant side. Same for the phosphate here and here. So we have one phosphate. On the product side, we have one iron, one chlorine, one ammonium ion, and one phosphate. So you can see it makes things a lot neater when we go ahead and balance the equation. Looks like we could balance the chlorines first. We could put a three in front of the ammonium chloride. We have one chlorine times three, That'll give us three of those, that's balanced. And then we have our ammonium ion times three. That gives us three ammonium ions. Those are balanced and actually this equation is balanced. So you can see it's very nice. If you look at the polyatomic ions as one thing, we have one ammonium ion here, we have the ammonium ion here. That makes it a lot quicker and time does matter on exams. Either way, you get the same answer. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for FeCl3 plus NH4 3PO4. Thanks for watching.